What type of shoes do you buy? Ama wewe unanunua tu kiatu for the sake of buying shoes. Are you the type who goes for quantity instead of quality? You might end up having a hundred pairs of shoes that don't serve you. So be intentional. Know which type of shoe to buy and when to wear. You cannot be wearing boots when it's about 500 degrees outside and complain that you're sweating excessively on your feet and your feet are smelly. Be intentional. During the hot, humid months, invest in shoes that are more breathable. And currently, they are producing shoes which, uh, you know, they have this fabric, and the fabric, the way it's designed, number one, it's very comfortable, very breathable, and can camouflage your sweat. I have an example. I have this pair, and I love them. The first time I got them, I was very skeptical about it. What if I put this shoe, what if I wear it, and I happen to sweat, will it display my sweat stains? And I wore this shoe just before winter, because it's winter in Kenya, it's cold here. I wore it, I wore this shoe. And to my surprise, I did not see any sweat stain. It's very comfortable. It's very breathable. It rests easy on the feet. Na pia ni kiatu wenye unezava na upige shuguli. Na kama wenye hasla. Na wenye msewa kupiga maraundi. Very comfortable. So, nina suggest pia muna kwa na viatu kama hizi. Especially on those hot, humid months. Eh? And you can also wear the same even in such a weather, in such a cold weather. Another thing ni to consider ni ile environment enye uko. Mtu mwanyako Mombasa uko coast, the coast region, environment uko ni hot and humid. It doesn't make sense for you to be wearing boots in such an environment. Uko watu wengi wanava sandals. Apart from sandals, at a count of our sneakers, again, go for something that it's light and breathable. No? And this goes to people living with hyperhidrosis. This is not for normal acclimated persons. Maybe they, for them, they are not that much affected kama sisi. We, depending on the region in Yoko, look at the pairs of shoes that you're intending to buy. Usko tuna nunua viatu for the sake of buying for me, when I buy shoes, I'm very intentional. What type of shoe am I buying? Because every shoe has to go with the socks. And bearing in mind that I do also struggle with excessive sweating. So I have to be very intentional. There are some pairs of shoes, if you buy and the lining is not good, and you happen to sweat, and to make it worse, you happen to wear the wrong pairs of socks. For instance, umeva polyester, na kiatunyo umeva pia laini ni andani si leather. If you sweat, it's going to be terrible. Very, very terrible. And I know most of you probably have experienced. Ile umeva kiatu, diyo laini ni si poa, uko andani, na umeva polyester. Una sweat, so tuseme ndo hii mgu, I'm going to use this as an example. This is your feet, and this is your ankle, there is this other part up a chini, you don't know, they call it, is it the Achilles or Achilles? The tendon? Ie nye narana hapa. Unava kiatu hivyo unanza kusweat, inanza ku cause friction, hadi unatoka ngozi hapo kwa hiyo kiatu. Na uko ndani kwa, kwa ton, uko kwa hiyo toenails, you start developing cones. And those things are painful. It even affects your walking style. Unajipata, it's like your... Ni kama unatipito. It affects your walking style. Na hile paka unaka, unasema, no, all I want to do is to get home and just take off these shoes and just relax because my feet are killing me. 
and it actually takes time for that part ya hiyo tendon tenye ime imekuwa bruised na hiyo friction to heal you know for us it's tough because if you working from monday to friday or monday to saturday when you have that bruise the following day you have to wear shoes and go to work so you have to be very intentional very very intentional when you're buying shoes when you're buying your pairs of socks very intentional and also tafadhali do not forget to clean your feet so as long as you tafadhali usisahau mingu clean your feet dry them take care of your feet every part of your body is important every part of your body that experience excessive sweating take care of it it's very important if you have any questions feel free to reach out to HAK across all our social media platforms share a comment hapo chini tunapenda pia tuki engage tuki interact maybe you have your own tips maybe you have your own experiences i want and i would love to see people engaging in the comment section thank you guys and i hope this video has been helpful to you welcome to the situationship rajesha ujasiri wako